Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Hawaii Weather Watch. Hurricane Kiko update, September 7th. I get a, quite a few questions about Hurricane Kiko and what it's going to do and what kind of impacts it will have on the Hawaiian Islands. I've got some family out there as well, so I thought I wouldn't go over a little bit of a briefing here. Still a hurricane right here as we go 5 a.m. update there on a Sunday morning, that is today. And if we take a look at the cone, you can see generally what the models say is that it's going to remain a hurricane as we go through Tuesday. I don't know if that's going to be the case. I think the shear and the dry air that it's dealing with here across some of the Pacific is probably going to weaken the system a little bit quicker than that. I might be wrong, but the Hurricane Center thinks it will remain a hurricane on and through Tuesday morning. But the most important part is that this is supposed to stay north of the Hawaiian Islands. And the strongest portion of the storm is on the north side of that island, of that hurricane as well, as it approaches the island. So, so that we have that going for us here. Now, taking a look at the tracks, this is the European and all of its ensembles. You can clearly see that none of them, maybe one of them clipping Kauai there, but that would be a very degraded system by that point. And generally keeping it north again of the Hawaiian Islands. And again, the biggest impacts on the north side of the storm as it approaches. Could bring some wind and some waves here, a little bit of an increase here, but it's not going to be much. The waves probably a little bit of a bigger deal than anything uh, to do with the winds. And you can see the Central Pacific Hurricane Center does a good job here. They put out these uh, forecast discussions every six hours here as well. And they do also mention some of that dry air. It is now also moving over a little bit cooler water, about 25 degrees Celsius. So it's probably helping to weaken the storm and then the vertical shear. I think that's going to start working on the storm. It is a relatively small hurricane here also. So if we take a look, they got hurricane warnings just kind of broad brush out over the ocean waters. Don't let that scare you or anything. You know, this these winds are not going to be a big impact for the islands. And this coastal flood statement is unrelated to the hurricane, just tidal stuff. Um, taking a look here on the mean civil pressure on the European, there's the Hawaiian Islands dead center. If you look all the way to the right, there's California. So if I put this into motion, you can clearly see Kiko is supposed to remain north of the Hawaiian Islands. It makes it pass and we get the trade winds returning as that system moves through as we go on into the later portions of this week and this is about 2500 feet up in the atmosphere you can see kiko is right there again hawaii islands dead center where the circle is put that into motion and you can kind of see the wind field strongest on the north side of that storm as it makes its pass and the trade winds return as we go through the later portion of the week a little bit closer look here at surface winds so you can see those strongest winds are supposed to not get anywhere near the hawaiian islands unless there's some kind of huge change in track of this storm that we do not foresee but it it does remain a, a bit of a potent storm as it passes, but again, the wind's too far away. You know, the, the, most of this will probably affect is some flights coming to and from the Hawaiian Islands as they're going through some of this turbulence here and some of the stronger winds on the north side of that storm. So yeah, as far as impacts of wind on the state, not much to speak of. And if we look at wind shear here, <clears throat> I went over this quite briefly, and uh, there is a little bit of wind shear might start approaching here as we go over the next couple of days. That will probably start to work on the system that you can see right there as well. Total precipitation in inches. Well, the, here goes the storm. You can kind of see it move off to the north there. That That's it. Uh, this stuff across the islands is just going to be trade wind stuff as we go through the later portion of the week, really. We're not expecting big time rainfall out of this system as it passes to the north as well could get some uh, wave action you can kind of see as kiko moves by again depending on how fast it decreases, does bring a bump in the waves there for some of the hawaiian islands so surfers pay attention to that as you go through the day on monday night it starts to get towards the big island there and then it starts to impact maui as you go through the day tuesday tuesday night oahu and then kawaii now, looking at the ocean temperatures also, you can kind of see the water that it's kind of moving through right now. This is a bit cooler out here. It's not really that conducive to, you know, sustaining strong hurricanes. Kind of a, a, an unusual setup here where we've gotten cooler than normal waters here south of the Hawaiian Islands and warmer than normal north. And then you can kind of see how that translates. Usually the best track for hurricanes if you want big impacts on the Hawaiian Islands is when a storm takes its track south and remains in that warmer water out of the drier air and then makes a rapid turn north at some point like Hurricane Aniki did in 1992. Those are the ones you really got to watch. Although the ones that do approach across the west can still have impacts. The really nasty stuff potentially comes from the south or if you develop a system down here to the south and west of the Hawaiian Islands those can turn back north as some of the storms did back in the 80s as well 
and have hit Kawhi from that direction also, but that's usually later in the season. Uh, and yeah, again, wrapping things up, there's Hurricane Kiko. Again, should not have big impacts on the Hawaiian Islands here with either rain or wind, maybe some bump in waves as it passes by. But uh, again, I kind of think that this is probably going to be getting weakened here pretty quickly, maybe a little bit quicker than what the National Hurricane Center, the Central Pacific Hurricane Center is saying. But anyway, just kind of keep that in your mind if you're a mariner out and about, I don't know. And watching those waves or of course you know the flights back and forth from the mainland and from alaska will be dealing with the storm as it passes by to the north but you know they can just fly around it so anyway hope you guys like the update let me know what you guys think click like and subscribe we'll do this all again tomorrow and i'll talk to you guys then